Hey smileys, hey, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new, please subscribe if you like good vibes. Today I'm showing you all a lock retwist. I'll be using Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel and the Jamaican Mango and Lime Sproil or Spray Oil. My retwist process is pretty straightforward. I work my way from the back of the head forward. So I begin at the nape of the neck and work upwards. I simply apply the twisting gel to the new growth, then finger twist the hair to the right. Afterwards, I use a clip to hold the lock in place. Repeat, repeat, repeat. That's it, smiley. See you in the next one. <laughs> Just kidding. So for each row, I try to make the parts as straight as possible, which requires that I detach the hair in some areas. The hair tends to grow together the longer you wait between retwist. I actually started these locks a couple years ago. Whether you've been on your lock journey for 10 years or you just started your journey, anyone with locks will likely agree on one thing for sure. It's a commitment, okay? While the style doesn't require that you brush or comb your hair on a daily basis, it does require maintenance and upkeep. When we first started these, I was retwisting them about twice a month. Now we retwist once a month or every other month. In periods of slow growth, we retwist as needed. Gel versus wax. I like using gel because it's water-based and that doesn't create as much buildup as wax. Waxes tend to be heavier on the hair and it will cause a lot of buildup, which can be harder to wash out. I like to apply the gel to the comb and then comb across the new growth like so. Using a comb to distribute it through the new growth makes the process a little bit quicker and we all wanna save time. The process from start to finish will vary based on how quickly you work. I typically spend an hour to an hour and a half on retwisting and then use a dryer to dry the locks. There are several areas where I've combined two thin locks to create a thicker lock, like this one for example. I just combine the two and let them grow together from that point. It's important to have an expectation for your lock journey, so if you know in advance how thick you want your locks to be, I suggest you plan accordingly. I'm just saying. As you can see, I simply twist in a clockwise motion until all of the new growth is tightened and then apply the clip. Now that these have gotten a little bit longer, I don't have to use as many clips because I can put more than one lock in each clip. You'll notice that I'm also using a mix of both single prong and double prong clips. I'm not actually sure what difference it makes. Both clips seem to work effectively for securing the locks in place. So, hey, as long as it gets the job done, I'm good with that. So I'm just about halfway through here. It's a process for sure. And speaking of processes, let's talk about wash days. While having locks may reduce the amount of time you spend doing your hair on a daily basis, you still have to put in the work, especially on wash day. It's important to keep the locks clean and conditioned. Depending on how long you go between washes, sometimes a wash and condition will suffice. Sometimes you may have to turn to an apple cider vinegar rinse for a deep, deep cleanse and removal of product buildup. Apple cider vinegar is great for locks. It's a natural way to rid the hair of product buildup and dandruff. However, the only problem with this rinse is it leaves your hair super dry. So be sure to add moisture and oil afterwards. Now I'm working on the top of the head, almost finished. This seems like a lot of locks, but the sides are actually cut low, so it isn't even a full head, but they are smaller in size, which makes it look nice and full. This is the final row. I just twist these straight to the back or to the sides. And um, here I'm just going to reposition a few of the clips and that's it. This is the finished look. All of the hair has been twisted and clipped into place. Then I'll just go ahead and use a hand dryer or hooded dryer to dry the locks before removing the clips. We spend about 30 minutes under the dryer and then let the hair air dry. Thanks for watching, smileys. I hope you all found this video helpful. If so, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and see you in the next one. Mwah.